God is speaking here about being filled and being satisfied. But I was in the advertising business before I got saved. And we're always desperately trying to create felt needs in people's lives. All right? When you're hungry and thirsty, nobody has to create that. That's there. I mean, you, you need that, okay? Uh, think about this. In the Garden of Eden, now the first sin is attributed to Adam. The serpent attacked the woman. Yes. Just think about this. That woman had everything that a woman could need. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's impossible for us now to experience in the natural what she had thanks to her and Adam. Right. Okay? Think about this. She had a perfect husband. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yes. She had a perfect home with no taxes or utility bills. She had everything that she could possibly need just for the reaching out and taking. Mm -hmm. And yet the serpent came along and planted the seed of dissatisfaction, of discontent. Yeah. He got her to act on what she wanted rather than what she needed. He helped create a felt need in her life, mm -hmm. which she acted upon, right? What do you need? What do you want? What do you desire? All right? I pray that it's that it's that righteous relationship being right with God the Father that drives your life. See, Jesus, who searches the heart of men, knows all and addresses this this human, very human condition. Why then? Why do you spend money for what is not bread? And your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me. And eat what is good and delight yourself in abundance. Okay? That's God speaking through the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah 55, too. Don't we work for, we strive for things and then find out they don't satisfy. Right. All it's right. A temporary. Righteousness feeling. and a right relationship with God the Father will fill you. It will satisfy you. Jesus said, then then he said to him, Beware and be on your guard against every form of greed. For not even when one has an abundance does his life consist of his possessions. I don't know how old you are. I know how old I am. I've been around the block once or twice. But one of the things I know is that the world can't satisfy you. What the, what the world is able to give you, and they, at the end of the day, will not satisfy you. It's not lasting, okay? It's like cotton candy. It, it is, and that's an expert voice. This is a, one of the most misused verses, I think, in the, in the church today, is this. In Psalm 37, verse 4, it says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Well, hallelujah. That's the Word of God. Mm. That is true. I asked, well, what do you desire, right? And then God spoke, I mean, here's the conversation in the book of Job, right? He says, if you return to the Almighty, you'll be restored. If you remove unrighteousness from far from your tent, and place your gold in the dust, and the gold of Ophir among the stones of the brooks, then the Almighty will be your gold and choice silver to you. For then you will delight in the Almighty and lift up your face to God. Job 22, 23 and 6. You see, we think that the silver and gold will satisfy. And God is saying, no, you know, what satisfies is me. All right? And then the prophet Isaiah. This is from the 58th chapter, and this is about the Sabbath, all right? If because of the Sabbath you turn your foot from doing your own pleasure on my holy day and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy day of the Lord honorable, and honor it, desisting from your own ways, from seeking your own pleasure and speaking your own word, then you will take delight in the Lord, and I will make you ride on the heights of the earth, and I will feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. By the way, let me ask you, what day exactly is it that you're supposed to desist from your own ways? What day of the week is it that you're supposed to not seek your own pleasure and speak your own word? Um, what day of the week is it that you're supposed to take the light in the Lord? Every day. Then every day is the Sabbath. That's, right. that's when you learn to rest in the Lord. That's the, that's the truth. We're supposed to appraise things spiritually. God spoke through Jeremiah and he said, I will fill the soul of the priest with abundance and my people will be satisfied with my goodness, declares the Lord.
Jeremiah 31, 14. If you want something that's satisfied, if you want to be filled, if you want to be satisfied, seek the goodness of God. The Lord wants to give us the desire of our hearts. But the Lord wants to be the desire of our hearts. I want to be able to say, like that psalmist said, Psalm 73, 25, Whom have I in heaven but you? And beside you I desire nothing on earth. He's the only one that can fill our hearts. This is the, the heritage of the saints of God. That we would have this. You know why? Because it satisfies. Because it fills. When we seek God, when we seek His righteousness, it says you'll be satisfied. Right. But you have to taste and, and see, see that, that the, the Lord, Lord is good. good. Amen to Once that. you have a taste, my goodness. <laughs> She's right. Write that down. She, because that's absolutely right. Oh, so are you weary and troubled? No light in the darkness you see there is light when you look at the Savior and life more abundant and free so turn your eyes Jesus.